For some time now, Monster Hunter Online has not gotten a good update. Every now and then, they've brought a new monster from either the main series or Frontier to the game, and at times, they just feel lacking. But after some recent events and some info, I have gotten a bunch of interesting stuff to talk about that may make you consider trying the game out, or hype the current players. Recently, Tencent, the creators of Monster Hunter Online, announced five monsters that will be coming to the game within the following two months. The first monster shown is a monster created by Tencent themselves, and it is truly a unique monster. Recently, I have gotten access to the test server thanks to the members of the English Patch community, and I have been able to face this monster, and I have a full detailed video planned and coming out soon, but at the moment, all I can say is that this guy is fast. He is the first monster to be released and will be dropping out tomorrow to the main game server, so be ready, guys. The second monster to be released is everyone's favorite, Michael Bay monster, the Bracadios. This to me is, is very exciting because not only is it one of my favorites, but it also means that Sliming Blast will be coming to the game as well. Uh, Tencent has also released a trailer for Bracky as well, so I'll show you guys right here. Now there's no information on when uh, Brachydios will come to the main game servers, but I would estimate it probably coming out within, um, I'd say, a week or two? I'm not exactly sure, but we will find out and I will let you guys know, especially since I uh, will be able to find out in the test servers. Also to be joining will be Teostra and two Frontier Monsters, which honestly guys, I'm not going to try and attempt to pronounce these. Uh, monsters names because I'm going I'm pretty much just going to end up butchering them and uh, let's let's not do that in addition to the new monsters there are talks and rumors of a possible new weapon coming to monster hunter online could it be the charge blade could it be insect blade it could be tanfas or it could even be a completely new weapon that they create uh, no idea on it hopefully we'll find out soon but I'm very excited either way. Also coming with this week's update will be G3, a whole nother level of difficulty. Though with great risk comes great rewards, and so that's basically the premise of G3. You hunt extremely difficult monsters, you get a higher chance of getting the rare drops. Uh, the level cap will be raised to 180, so that means a lot of grinding will be going down in terms of leveling up your weapons and your armor. And last but not least, the Hunter set will be raised to 150, so that is uh, going to be a godsend for a lot of uh, beginning players. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to keep a lookout for tomorrow's video on the new monster. Uh, fortunately, I don't know his name. That's why I'm keeping it very vague, but... Um, it is definitely going to be very interesting. I just can't wait to show you all the cool stuff about this guy. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, happy hunting everyone.